Good morning. It is day 58, 14th of May, and I've left Fontana Dam and am in the middle of my, of the initial climb up from the dam into the mountains of Great Smoky Mountains National Park. So far, I've made good time. It's been gradual and not steep, which is good. So if that trend continues, I'll, I'll be happy. The plan is a 17 and a half mile day to the Spence Field Shelter, which I've been told sets you up well to finish the Smokies in five days. Um, lots of ups, ups and downs. Actually, tomorrow, if I, uh, if I make it to Spence Field, I should hit Clingman's Dome, which is the highest point on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, shelter system's a little different here in the Smokies. You have to, as a through hiker, you need a permit, which you pay for, but there's no reservation system for the shelters. Um, but the Smokies rule is uh, you're supposed to stay in the shelters unless they're full. Um, but through hikers can be trumped by day hikers or short-term backpackers that do need a reservation to stay at the shelter. Uh, and they pay for that. So you could be bumped out of a shelter into your tent if the shelter is full. So be interesting to see how all that works. Uh, rain has held off so far today. About a 40% chance, so we'll see what happens. Just quite humid right now. But I had a good day of rest yesterday and the legs feel good, so all is good. Enjoy your day. Hope to see you on the trail. breaking up. I started at uh, under 2,000 feet, Fontana Dam, <coughs> sorry, and I'm going to get up over 5,000 feet before this climb is over. It's the first view I've had. It's pretty cool. Hello again. I am 10 miles into my day and I got a mile to a shelter where I think I'll pull into and eat my lunch. Thread of rain has been in and out, but it has stayed dry so far. But right now I'm at mile marker 176, which means I have hit the 700 mile mark on the Appalachian Trail. So that is almost one third complete. Woohoo! picture was with David who's the ridge runner for this area I had a conversation with him the next shelter is Russell field shelter they've closed it because of massive bear activity I guess a bear went into the shelter even at one point so uh, no biggie to me I wasn't planning on staying there I'm going down to the next one but uh, evidently lots of bear activity around here so your eyes open. Day 59, the 15th of May. Uh, I just hit the trail about 10 or 15 minutes ago and I'm going across this uh, bald knob. 
So the plan today, uh, basically two options. Option one, do 14 miles and stay just short of Clingman's Dome. Option two is do another six miles beyond that to get up and over Clingman's. Now that's a 20 some mile day. So rain moving in this afternoon. I'm gonna opt for the shorter version today, about 14 miles and then have a long day tomorrow getting me up and over Clingman's Dome and beyond. So right now it's not so bad. I'll take some uh, pics and vids and show you what I'm saying. Enjoy your day. Hope to see you on the trail. morning it is day 60 may the 16th i got an early start today because i'm gonna try and do 20 although i don't know if i'm capable of doing that in the smokies but there's a shelter at 20 and there's a shelter at like 13 i'd rather do the 20 to stay ahead of the game but we'll see how i feel i am en route Climbing up to the summit of Klingman's Dome as we speak. And that's the highest point on the AT. However, it's cloudy, so I probably won't see anything. Well, that's all right. I'll enjoy my day. Hope you have a good day. Hope to see you on the trail. Klingman's Dome. It was totally in a cloud when I went over that this morning at 8.15. But clouds have lifted somewhat. But not the best view. See the trees here. I'll give a quick shot. Rain's coming. Charlie's Bunyan. That might be Klingman's Dome. Cloud moving in on it.
All right, bringing the day to a close. I did uh, opt for the bigger miles, so I did 21 today, but that sets me up well to definitely finish the Smokies in five days, and what um, I'm eyeballing is uh, Hot Springs, North Carolina. Take a zero there, because I'm gonna need it. 21 miles uh, in the Smokies. Puts me in the bad dude category, I think. What do you think, Grands? But uh, hopefully it won't take too much of a toll the next two days. Because <laughs> my legs are probably going to be tired. Oh, I forgot. I was going to say Clingman's Dome. So I hiked in a cloud basically all morning. Hit uh, Clingman's Dome at 8.15 in the morning. And... Clingman's Dome is at 6,612 feet. Highest point on the AT. And then went down uh, into Newfound Gap. That's at about 5,000 feet. And then, of course, first thing you do is, once you've hit a gap, is climb back up to 6,000 feet. And I've been hovering around, oh, between 5,200 and 5,800 most of the afternoon. So... That's my day. Good morning. It is day 61, May 17th, I think. Beautiful sunny day. Unlike yesterday, I'm gonna drop my phone. Unlike yesterday, which was uh, completely in a cloud, there's not a cloud in the sky. So, should be a nice day. My plan, take a little bit shorter day after yesterday's long 21 mile day. I'm going for, uh, there's a shelter at the 13 mile mark. This is uh, day four in the Smokies. That'll allow, allow me to get out of the Smokies on day five. Do a quick, quick resupply and then keep moving for a couple days uh, to get to Hot Springs, North Carolina. So, if I get to that shelter at the 13 mile mark early enough and I feel good enough, maybe I'll go on, but it's another five or six to the next shelter after that. So, I'll probably just stay with the easy day and enjoy the views while the sun's out. Hope you enjoy your day. Hope to see you on the trail. End of the day, I am at the summit of Mount Kammerer, and this is the Mount Kammerer Old Fire Tower. It's got a, this thing must be an octagon, and it's got a wraparound porch all the way around it. And here's the views. I'll walk the uh, wraparound porch from those stairs and by the front door I just came up. easy in the distance but pretty impressive if you look down here in the middle of your screen that's interstate 40 and oh I'm out of the Smokies tomorrow I'll be going under that is my next step to move farther north but it's one heck of a view from up here that's for sure sure the light is changing as I walk around the outer circumference of this thing. Get these trees out of the way. Yeah, better lighting here on this side. Not into the sun. But pretty impressive.
Tiger Tower. I'm going to be able to catch a, a sunset and a sunrise. Here we are setting. this absolutely amazing I hope uh, these pics and vids do it at least some justice is to watch this unfold and watch the mountains appear this morning was just awesome crazy Day 62, May 18. Last night's stay at the fire tower was epic. Glad I did that. Beautiful sunset last night, sunrise this morning. Hopefully uh, some of those pictures do it justice, but it usually doesn't. Anyway, my plan today, I'm out of the Smokies in like four or five miles. And so this is day five in the Smokies. I'll cross underneath Interstate 40, go to Standing Bear Farm Hostel, where they have limited resupply. I'll grab enough food for a couple days because um, today's Wednesday. I won't get to Hot Springs, North Carolina until Friday. So I'm out of food. Got to get a couple days worth to get me there. So that's my plan. Enjoy your day. Hope to see you on the trail.
what I use as my water source. Okay, end of the day. I'm back in my tent now that I'm out of the Smokies. I uh, don't have to stay in a shelter. So, opted for 17 and a half miles today. Pushed a little farther than the last shelter so I could try and, try to make uh, Friday a shorter day so I could get into that hostel quickly. But all is good. And today's Wednesday night, so a couple more days on the trail. Be in Hot Springs, North Carolina, and then take a zero day Saturday, which I'm really looking forward to. Good morning. It is early, 6 a.m. It is day 63, May 19th. Just starting to get light, so I just woke up. So packed up the tent in the dark and driving on. Should be an interesting day because I go over an area called Max Patch which is one of the more infamous places on the AT, so looking forward to seeing what that's all about. I'll let you know. Enjoy your day. Hope to see you on the trail. Another big rhododendron tunnel. It's kind of cool through here. End of the day. Check out this stealth tent site I found. Right up there is uh, the AT. Little side trail leads down over this log. Here's a little path. There I am. Set up for the night. Ready to go to Hot Springs tomorrow.